So BMW has finally brought the 5 Series to India and yes, it will be available as the long wheelbase format but BMW is yet to officially launch the luxury sedan. There are plenty of changes uh, made in this version. Uh, Starting from its exterior, as you can see, it gets uh, a new grille, although the signature blacked out kidney grille has been retained, but it is now in illuminated format. Uh, it is encased with this golden encasing uh, up front, as you can see. The bumper, that said, is very sporty now. Uh, you get this gloss black embellishments, as you can see, and the side skirts as well. This uh, grille is flanked by a four-right design for the headlights uh, with these new DRL elements, as you can see. Coming to the sides, it gets it runs on 18 inch uh, alloy wheels with star studded uh, alloy wheels patterns. Uh, the profile uh, is very thick. I believe that BMW will offer more options uh, at the time of launch. But the first thing that strikes you is its sheer size. And as you can see, it's massive. It's massive. It easily stretches over five meters long, and you can easily mistake it for a 7 series but hold on there's this new 5 logo here uh, which ensures that this is the 5 series another interesting bit is that the roof line is now more coupe -ish, as you can see this has been given to give it a more sportier profile as you can see um, it's not completely flat out as coupe but yes the it has been uh, the attempt is there as you can see otherwise the profile is very clean and understated. Uh, there's no frills, and uh, from the previous generation, as you can see, it's uh, it's more a uh, luxury sedan now rather than a sports sedan. If you carry on for the to the rear, again the design is mostly understated uh, with this tri LED element for the tail lights. It's long and wrap around, and obviously the BMW logo here. However, the sporty diffuser here with this chrome, um, this golden embellishment gives you a nice sporty touch uh, to the sedan. These are all the ma major highlights of this exterior. Now we shall jump into the interior and see what all changes it gets. So now we have hopped inside the cabin of the BMW 5 series uh, and as you can see the layout is very familiar to the current generation lineup of the BMWs. Uh, it gets a long twin screen setup uh, which comprises of a 14.9 inch uh, central touchscreen infotainment unit and a 12.3 inch driver's display. Uh, along with it uh, there are layered patterns to the dashboard itself and with uh, ambient light, uh, lighting running across it gives a very nice vibe to the cabin very airy vibe uh, that said as you can see there are plenty of amenities one thing that i especially like is this crystal knob it's very it's very sleek touch and um, uh, apart from that the steering wheel is new it gets a new three spoke flat bottom steering wheel now this is the m sport version uh, the standard version will be different and um, apart from that Yes, there's a lot of cushioning around. Uh, the seats are quite wide. But apart from the amenities that are offered in the 5 Series, most of the buyers spend spend their time at the back seat. So let us check out how the rear seat comfort is. Now, this is where most of the 5 Series buyers will spend their time. Uh, they like to be chauffeur driven. So as you can see, there's plenty of room uh, around here. As I mentioned before, this comes as the long wheelbase version and you get plenty of leg room and knee room. Uh, you can push your feet under the front seat driver and you get you can easily stretch it out uh, apart from that uh, there's a large transmission tunnel so it's be uh, best suited for four as uh, as as it always has been uh, apart from that uh, in terms of amenities you get a c type charging port here and it gets four zone uh, climate control so each individual person can set their own uh, temperature settings apart from that there's individual cup holders for the rear seat passengers as well as there's plenty of storage areas here so now bmw says that they have um, they have added more padding to the rear seats so as a result you have more under thigh support and more 
padding at the rear as well so the recline is also more comfortable uh, the cushions uh, these cushions come as standard so yes it's much more comfortable experience so we are on board the new 5 series the 530 li so it's running on a petrol engine but we yet to know the exact configurations of this, um, of this engine so this is this is just a teaser drive short teaser drive just to let you know how it feels from behind the wheels the engine is pretty smooth now this is running on the personal mode which is by uh, the default mode it's in the uh, comfort setting so yeah it's quite smooth as it should be it's a it's a more understated luxury sedan but we are going to push it in a while just getting a feel of this car steering is precise i can see it's a big car by the way it's a very big car okay so touches 100 triple digit speeds with ease hint of border roll as expected Let's push it, shall we? Oh, the noise! So it holds on to the gear for quite a bit, so that it uh, it lets you build up that momentum. Otherwise, the power delivery is quite linear, actually. Mind you, this is again in the personal setting. Which is the default mode, not the sporty setting. So it holds on to the uh, second gear up to 115, 120 kilometers, which is <laughs> insane. going to switch the mode to sport and see what is the difference exactly which mode sport mode activate traction control is off rest judgment once we have had a more comprehensive driving experience besides the extra juice from the engine and a sharper throttle response the sport mode also stiffens the suspension a tad bit although its effect in our short drive over smooth tarmac was found negligible the steering too becomes marginally heavier and more precise although we we'll reserve our opinions when we get to drive the car in a proper manner this is just a quick walk around of what to expect of the 5 series this is a, a more detailed review and walk around will come at a later stage so stay tuned to express drives